mental health and encephalitis. What is mental health? We all have mental health, in the same way that everyone has physical health. Physical health concerns our bodies, and mental health concerns our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. And just as you can become unwell physically, your mental health can also get worse at times. How common are mental health difficulties? One in every eight people in the world live with a mental health condition. Mental health difficulties can be mild or more severe. The types of mental health problems that can occur vary widely among people and different types of encephalitis. For some, there may be warning signs that something isn't quite right. But for others, changes only relate to how we feel inside. Why do mental health difficulties happen? Encephalitis can disrupt the brain structure and the way it is working. This can change your ability to understand and express your emotions, the way you think, see the world, or control your behavior. Being poorly in hospital with some causes of encephalitis can result in some symptoms that look like mental illnesses. The loss of abilities, cognitive, emotional, and or physical, and your old way of life following encephalitis can also cause mental ill health. What can you do if you experience mental health difficulties? If you are finding the way you are thinking, feeling, or reacting is making life more difficult to cope with, or you're having experiences which are hard to make sense of, you might need some support with your mental health. Help is available. Many mental health problems can be prevented and are highly treatable. Talking to someone you trust about how you feel can be a starting point. Get in touch with your family doctor who may be able to help or refer you to a professional who can. A teacher, school nurse or counselor may be able to help too or tell you about a service or an organization that can. Looking after our mental health. Looking after our mental health is challenging as we can't see our own or other people's thoughts and feelings, but it is important to do so. Other people who had encephalitis shared their experience of looking after their mental health. They suggested asking for and accepting help. You don't need to do this on your own sleeping and resting when you need, mindfulness, spending time outside, trying a new hobby, exercising, finding one thing to be grateful for every day, connecting with others. Take each day, good and bad, as it comes. Making time for yourself. Concentrate on the things you achieve, even if small, and most importantly, be kind to yourself. The Encephalitis Society are here to talk to, signpost and connect you with other people who have been through encephalitis. Please get in touch to find out more. Support at encephalitis.info 01653 699 599